So this is a different kind of video. I wrote a kid's book. <laughs> Some context, I read a kid's book from my art matric, my matric art project called File Play a couple years ago, but I never got published for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I my mom has the official copy of it, I don't have it anymore. And I didn't really enjoy it that much because I worked so much effort and time into it, it was just a lot. Also, my art style has changed hectically. And I was online looking for passive income streams. <laughs> you know, the top ones, which is like blog, YouTube, and that's it, person ebook. So I looked into it and then I was like, oh, well, I can't really person on fiction ebook for adults, let's be real. I don't have any knowledge that the world needs to know. <laughs> However, children's books are kind of my passion because it's very similar to my art style and I love that thing. I've been writing kids books since like the age of eight. I felt like the time to write another kids book. So it took me about two days to write the story. So I, really, I did my market, I keep saying so, and it bothers me deeply. I did do some market research into what type of age group I wanted to write for and I decided like five-year-olds kind of where I wanted to aim because I recently taught some five-year-olds and they are such an age. They're very inquisitive and they're just learning. And I wanted it to be more of a read with me type book, not a read by themselves book, but I still wanted it to have illustrations, like a full illustrated page. And yeah, then I went at it. So I did some basic sketches of my sketchbook, which I will show, but I didn't quite like that character. I kind of made her the little version of another original character I have called Nora. So it's little Nora. Originally, I wanted it to look that, but originally I wanted it to look like it as I had there in the illustrations, but it felt like too old to be Nora. So I jumbled around with it, but then writing the story, I'm struggling because I did my research into what topics five-year-olds are interested in, and that's like, you know, dinosaurs and that type of thing, which I don't really know that much about. And then I was thinking about the kids that I know personally and the people that would probably buy this book, and like, obviously my life is very related, um, mainly because I live next door to it. <laughs> So <clears throat> I was thinking about that and making like a sea themed book, but I struggled coming up with any sort of actual concept for that. So I went on and then I went came up with a story that I remember writing when I was little called, not little, little, like I'm talking like 14, okay? That was six years ago. <laughs> called Terry the Hairy Fairy, but that didn't quite make a concept because now for a level five, four book, it has to be a thousand words. It's a flash fiction and that's very difficult. To do so well for me anyway i like you know story go um <laughs> so then i ended up circling on another song it's gonna sound very silly but there's a bible song that goes i wish i was a butterfly which i had recently heard teaching five-year-olds as they sang bible song am i vaguely christian not really but hey <laughs> That song has been indoctrinated into my brain. I remember when it was tucked into my blazer pocket because we had to sing it for a prize giving. I know that song. And I had it stuck in my head and I started writing with that. Obviously I didn't. I changed all of the animals out and I didn't make it a thank you lord. I changed it to I wish I was. Um, you know, like the, the first ones I wish I was a pigeon because I went. I wanted to make it very specific to South Africa as well. I chose only South African animals which had their difficulties when coming to draw them because when I was drawing I didn't want to draw the child as the animal. I kind of wanted it to see it as the child seeing the animals but I set it in a nature reserve which is different to a zoo thank you nicole <laughs> nature reserves are different okay you're not gonna see an ele well you might see an elephant in a nature reserve but probably not yet like, i'm thinking like a local one like like we have here i struggled a lot with that so like um i was trying to find clever like right around i mean drawing arounds i suppose of trying to show the animals without actually having to physically draw them the whole time because the child probably wouldn't be seeing them and then ending the book was so difficult uh, because it doesn't it has an ending because it's self-acceptance but it's <laughs> anyway it was quite fun having that song as an inspiration of the jump off point because i wanted to one make it less religious and two make it more so that and i succeeded Anyway, then when it came to publishing, I found the KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, and I downloaded their kids book um, creator. And I played around a lot with the different formats because I wanted to see whether I should have been doing it as um, portrait or landscape. And I struggled for quite a while. Eventually I went with landscape. I made all my falls pages A4. What have I learned? <laughs> that if you're doing a kid's book, you should probably make it square, which I didn't realize. Oops. And you should need, I should have made it a lot bigger. But it's fine. It looks good. I'm happy with it. I made all the text interactive so you can tap on it and the text gets bigger. Publishing publishing it was very easy. Surprisingly easy. And even though they, they offer to produce paperback versions of it, which is really cool as well. Um, So I made it a Kindle exclusive. I put in all my information. So now we're just going to wait and see. It's supposed to take 72 hours to approve. But I think because mine's a kid's book, it got approved very, very quickly. Like within the hour. I mean, it is only a thousand words and it's many pictures. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested in checking it out, go look at the link in the bio. Although some comments on it though, the um, book cover creator, the Kindle offers suck. So 
I ended up using Canva to make my cover, which involved me using a slide. <laughs> and I wanted to use a picture of Nora, kind of like cheering, but that didn't come out, so I just used one of the pictures from the boat. So yeah, I did end up being 19 illustrations, which I did over the span of 12 days, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's out there. I did it. I'm a published author. <laughs> Makes me want to make more books, which is really, really exciting and fun. It's like, now that I know it's so easy, I'm like, oh my god, I want to make more books. Like, I don't even care if they don't sell. <laughs> They're out there. <laughs> They're published. People can read them, which is like the coolest thing. So yeah, like I said, if you're interested, go check below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!